Hi there, this is Player HOI and welcome to the Iron Workshop. This tutorial will show how to add a new victory point or change a capital for any state in the game. So let's get to it. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is to decide where to add our new victory point or capital. And in our case, for this tutorial, I want us to change the capital of Australia since very strangely the capital in the game is Canberra and not Sydney. Now everybody knows that Sydney is the capital of Australia, right? Well, moving on, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll be setting uh, Sydney as the capital and that's uh, what we've decided on. All right. So the first thing I want to do is to go in, into the game and extract some information. Um, I'll need to know the name of the state file that I'm going to add it, and that I'm going to change the capital in. So let's go into the game. Now, we know that Canberra and Sydney both uh, reside inside the New South Wales state. So I'll need to edit the New South Wales state file. And I can do this in two ways. I can type the name of the state and hopefully that name will also be New South Wales. But you'll find out that as you mod that some files are not named as you would expect them to. So it's best to find the state number. Now, how do I find the state number? We'll need to open the console by pressing the tilde key. That's the key to the left of the number one key and above the tab key. So once the console is open, uh, we'll need to type the following command. T debug, T D E B U G and press enter. If you've typed the command correctly, it will say province tooltip debug enabled. Excellent. So we can close the console with the tilde key again. And now whenever I hover over any province or territory in the game, a little debug information window will open up telling me more information that I as a modder could use could have used or could use um, in my mod. All right, so let's see. The state file for New South Wales is 285. So I'll just go ahead and copy that file into my mod. We'll go to history, states, we need 285. Okay, so this is the file that we need. I'll just copy that. Go to my mod folder, states, remember that you have to keep the same folder structure as the vanilla game, and I'll put it in here. All right, now let's open the file and see exactly what we're looking for. So we see here that uh, inside this file there's a lot of stuff. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're not concerned with most of it. We're concerned with the victory points. Now we can see that there are three victory points. Let's compare that to what we see on the map. Let me just delete these troops so they don't obstruct our view. So we have Canberra in New South Wales. We have Sydney, our new capital. And there's also a province here called Newcastle. Great. So. What I want to do for this uh, tutorial is to make Sydney the capital of Canberra. Now, how, how does the game decide which province will be the capital? Well, that is determined by the number that you assign to the victory point. We'll see that this one has 30 victory points. This one has 20 and this one has 1. So the highest one that you assign in a state will be the capital of that state. Now, for it to show up as a capital with the star, the state itself 
285 will need to be assigned as the capital for the country. But if it's not a capital for the country, it will become the new capital once the original capital is occupied. Alright, so... 7859, I assume that's Canberra. And if I hover my mouse here, I'll see that the province ID is 7859. Great. And this is probably Sydney. Let's see. 12406. Excellent. So I'm just gonna switch them. Okay, I'm gonna put 20 victory points in here. And I'm gonna put 30 victory points in here. We don't need that dot. And I'm going to save it. So now the game will recognize Sydney as the capital and Canberra will have 20 victory points. Now another thing before we test this change, you'll notice that there are three types of graphics. There's the small uh, dot, there's the bigger sort of like dot thing and there's the star for a capital. So how do you know uh, how many points to assign for each to show up as a small dot, a medium dot or a star? Well, small dots, I will have a graphic displayed right above this window here. The small dots range from 0 to 20 points. So if you put 0 or 10 or 15, it will show up as a small dot. Anything above 20 will show up as a large dot. And anything above 30 will show up as the capital. Now, if you have a victory point that is 25 and another one which is 29, since 29 is larger or is higher uh, and is the highest one, it will, it will be displayed with a star, assuming that's the capital. Okay, so 30 is some kind of a threshold um, as long as it's the uh, highest victory point, that'll be the capital of that state. Alright, so let's just go ahead and test this, make sure that our change has been recognized by the game. Let's remove these. Alright, so now Sydney has the star and is recognized as the capital by the game. Okay, so that was simple enough. Now, for the second part of the tutorial, what I want to do is actually create a whole new province as the capital. Okay, so we'll keep it in the in this area, in the area of New South Wales, just so that I don't have to switch files. But obviously you can create it anywhere else, as long as it's uh, part of the same country. Um, so let's say I want to take this province here in the middle, and I want to make it the capital. So I'll go to our file, I'll copy the existing syntax, just put it here, just above the one that's already there. Um, now it doesn't matter the order that you place them at, okay, so the highest victory point doesn't need to be above the other ones. The game will still look at all of them and decide which one is the highest one. But for the sake of uh, finding it more easy or having a more clean document, um, it's usually a good idea to do that. Also, note that you can add comments so that you know by looking at the file which province you're talking about. So we're going to assign this section as our new capital. Uh, we'll keep these things as they are, but we're going to give our capital 50 victory points. Now remember, the highest victory point will be the capital. And I'll give it a province. So I need to know the ID of this province. Let's just turn on our debug again. So the province ID is 10427. 10427 and we'll have 50 victory points. 
Now, um, this is nice, okay? But uh, note that if I start the game now, what will happen is that this victory point... Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at it in the game. Okay, so let me just again remove these troops. Okay, so we see that uh, neither Canberra or Sydney are the capitals. But now I have this, New South Wales. Why is it called New South Wales? Well, the reason for this is because the game doesn't have localization or text information for each province in the game. Only for those that have been assigned as victory points or potential victory points and capitals. Okay, so the game doesn't know the name of this province. So I'm going to have to tell it and assign a name to this province. Now, how do I do that? Uh, we'll go to the vanilla game folder. Inside here, we'll go to localization. And in here, we're going to look for a file called victory. Victory points. We need the victory points L English, obviously for the English text. If you're using a different language, select the appropriate language. So I'm going to copy this file into my mod into localization and to put it here and let's open it with notepad and this is the information for all the victory points in the game now as you already know I like to add my changes at the bottom of each file just to keep things neat uh, so I'm going to copy the last entry And in here I'll need to keep this and just change this number with my new province um, capital. The, the, the ID number for the province that is supposed to be the capital. So I will copy this one, put it in here and let's call it, I don't know what, McDonald's. McDonald's. Donald. I think that's how you spell it. I haven't eaten in McDonald's for decades. Um, Alright, so our new capital is going to be McDonald's. And now the game should call it McDonald's. So let's just see if this works. Alright, so here's our new capital of McDonald's. Or something like that. Um, this is basically it. Not as complex as you might have thought, I guess. Um, yeah, this is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about modding the map or modding any other aspect aspects of the game, just go ahead and watch the tutorials and lessons which are probably going to appear on the right side of this video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and you will be notified when a new video is posted. You can learn more about modding Paradox games by watching the tutorials which explain quickly how to change small features of the game. Or you can watch the full lessons if you want to learn about modding more difficult aspects of the game. Either way, make sure to leave a note in comments if you encounter any difficulties or issues or if you just want to share your modding experience.